Hey, welcome back. It's been a while. Uh, for those of you who have been following this channel a while, you know I mostly do van conversions, things of that nature. But I want to take some time and show you my newest project. And that's right behind me. So this is a 2002 Scamp trailer. It's fiberglass um, and it weighs about a thousand pounds when it's dry. Uh, which means you can tow it with just about any vehicle. And I've been trying to find these, one of these used for probably four years now. In today's video, we're just gonna do a walkthrough of where it's at now and show you what upgrades I've done already. So as you can see, the shell is in pretty good condition. There's a few spots um, where there's like some discoloration from like screws and things like that. Um, it probably was left outside a lot. But the windows are in pretty good shape. You can see this one I was worried about leaking, so I added some tape just as a temporary fix till I get to do it right. Uh, it comes with a trailer hitch and it comes with an outdoor awning, which is in surprisingly good shape. I picked this thing up for $7,200, which is um, kind of low for these scamps right now. They're a pretty hot item. So when I saw it, I knew it would go quickly and I rushed down with the cash to buy it. All right, so let's have a look inside. So this is not how it looked when I got it. A uh, few changes I made uh, right away. I bought new covers for the mattresses and replaced them all. Uh, I did that because the other ones were falling apart, uh, especially this one back here had a lot of rips and um, there was a leak right here at the bottom of this window and that got the wood underneath here kind of soggy. So I removed and pulled back all the carpet and let it dry out and then I sanded away a little bit and refinished the wood. The previous owner hadn't really used this for um, a camper. He kind of used it as a base camp when he was hunting. He left it in one place and he had shore power so he could, you know, operate the light above the sink um, and use his outlets. And then the only propane item that he used was this stove and he used it both to cook and to heat. So it comes with a heater right here. It's one of those suburban uh, propane heaters. And then, you know, he may have used the fridge. I'm not sure about that. So when I got it, one of the first things I did was go through and check what propane items worked. So obviously I knew the stove worked. Um, then I went and checked the fridge and the fridge wasn't working off propane, but I went through and cleared a jet, which um, was kind of blocked. So once I cleared that, the fridge fired right up. And then I went to check the heater and the heater wasn't working because well, first it wasn't hooked to DC power and it needs DC power to ignite. So all the power is under here. And I have some experience with electrical. So I went through and pulled it all out and basically there was no battery. This is my temporary setup. Um, could look a lot cleaner, but uh, right now we're running 100 amp hours of lithium um, and we've got our DC system hooked up to this little DC distribution. Um, and I've got a little dongle for my Victron battery charger for when I need to charge this up. I also am able to read the state of the battery off this monitor. So we're at 70%. So once I uh, got a rudimentary electrical system in here, I was glad to find out that the heater did work. 
and the lights all worked and the fan worked. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's all I have. Oh, and then I connected up the fridge and the fridge will work off DC power. So that was, I already knew AC worked, propane I got to work, and then I was happy to find out that DC worked. The fridge is relatively uh, clean. Um, it's not the most efficient, but I'm not sure I'll replace it for a while. I kind of like it. Um, plus, the new fridges are expensive. There's things that are falling apart, like this drawer. After a few trips, the face fell off. This, this uh, little door, I think it's tucked under there, that fell off too. So this scamp comes with a dinette that converts into the bed. A uh, single little sink with a pump, uh, like a manual pump, which I haven't tested the water yet. And then a little switch pump for electrical pumping. Uh, it's got the bunk bed system in the front. So this folds up and you can get like two small kids or, I mean, honestly, an adult could sleep on the bottom bunk. Storage is significant yet for like small things. So we got storage in the front, storage in the back, and then these three little cupboards above the galley. And then there's like kind of a little, little bit of storage under the sink. And then storage over here. Um, I don't know if this was an original part that came with the scamp or if it was aftermarket. I think there were two other owners before me, but it has this kind of window unit AC, which obviously can only be run on shore power. I haven't tested that out, uh, but I will be getting rid of it and uh, probably convert that to storage as well. Then we got storage up here. Looks like they put in some shelves. Put in this little ugly vent. And then under this seat, we have the water tank. So electrical on one side, water on the other. I think it's a 12 gallon tank. Yep. And like I said, I haven't tested the water out. I don't really trust uh, how clean those lines are. So I think I'll clear out all the, no, I'm gonna replace all the lines and then I'm going to um, really clean out that tank. I'll, I'll probably remove it just to, you know, make sure it's really clean and I can trust it. Up top, you have this uh, big escape hatch. Also comes with a multi-speed fan, which again, also works. This guy, gonna come out of the rain? Yeah. The table's uh, pretty easy to break down into a bed. You just got to get your cushions out of the way. Fold up the leg. <laughs> Damn it. There's some parts I need to replace in this bracket, which is one of the things I'm going to fix. And your cushions all lay flat. If I sleep on this side of the bed, I can stretch out just enough. My girlfriend's 5'9". She gets that side. Oh, I feel like I could lay here for a while. Then when you want to put it up, just get your cushions out of the way again. And you pivot this up. Ah, oh, son of a gun. So there's supposed to be these two brackets that kind of hold the bed in place. This one fell out, the screws got stripped, so I just put in a temporary bracket to hold the bar of the table. So that's why it keeps slipping out. This is supposed to kind of hold it in, snapped in place. And just like that, we are 
set up and table node. So I am going to be doing a ton of updates on the scamp uh, and replace a bunch of things. I'm going to replace the vent, the uh, escape hatch, most likely. Um, I'm going to do all of the door and drawer faces. Uh, going to tear out the carpet and replace it with new flooring. Going to get rid of that AC unit and turn it into storage. Get rid of all the vents that surrounded it. I'm going to update all of the electrical and I'm gonna redo the plumbing system. On the outside, I'll probably be getting a new awning uh, because this one, even though it's in good shape, is kind of a pain to get out. Um, and I'm gonna try to shine this thing up. We're gonna, we're gonna do some buffing and polishing, see if we can get rid of some of the stains on the outside. I think first, I wanna get this thing out of the rain, so we're gonna see if it fits in my garage. I'm really excited about this little dolly thing that came with the scamp. I just realized I put the door on the wrong side. <sighs> All right, I can make this work. Oh, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, all that good stuff. It helps me out. <sighs> that was a really dumb idea to pull this in here.